Found footage is a humble genre that allow even the most novice filmmakers to stretch their legs and show what they're capable of. I've said that many times, but the range of it is also immense. It's not just a cheap excuse for low production values and shoddy special effects. With a decent budget, it can become a mind-boggling experience that makes me wax poetic like a dollar store auteur from a bad biopic. But it is the way it opens up possibilities for first-time writers and directors that is the most fascinating to me, as it forces them to come up with a story within those limitations. Incident at Montauk takes that precedent and runs with it. It's the epitome of Grounded, with nearly a special effect to be seen until the very end, and the most realistic character in the most realistic setting with the most realistic story. A quiet UFO conspiracist is driving down the road one day, and sees an orange light in the sky, but not before he manages to get his camera out and film it. In fact, the movie begins after the event took place, leaving you to take the man's word for it as he starts digging into the UFO sightings in the area, hoping to get it on video again. Owen Mulligan, who wrote, directed and edited the movie, plays Jed Logan, the UFO conspiracist the movie revolves around, and he shows considerable aptitude in doing so. The strongest aspect of the movie is the characterization, with the movie clips making Jed's personality and motivation very real and easy to understand. He is for the most part the only character in the movie, and why that is makes sense because the film consists of video clips from a vlog he kept, documenting his search for the phenomenon. Between him living by himself, living rurally, and not really needing human contact outside from a brief interview in regards to the goings-on at Camp Hero, it doesn't come across like Mulligan couldn't find other actors, and more like other people simply aren't necessary. It also helps to convey the man's character. The focus he puts on the search and the occasional comments he makes about people he's told offline not believing him gives the impression that not only is he very lonely and ostracized, but this may be the most significant thing going on in his life, and has been for quite a while. And when I call him a conspiracy theorist, I do mean everything that entails. When interviewing another conspiracy theorist, played by Michael Ian Sugro, 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 the man weaves a story about astral projection, psionic powers, mind control, time travel, interdimensional travel, and, of course, aliens. And as far as I can tell, Jed believes him. At least enough to investigate the area surrounding Montauk further. Part of me feels a little sorry for him, if he's so bereft of meaning in his life he's willing to accept all of this. But of course it turns out they may have been onto something. The camera work is also very good. It's mostly unedited beyond simple transitions and cuts for time, and feels, again, very real in the context. It's not the most professional video maker, it's just a hobbyist who picked up a handheld and ran with it. So it feels very genuine. However, those are the only things I can talk positively about when it comes to this movie. Making this movie, Owen Mulligan took the absolute essentials of found footage and mastered them, and neglected everything else. For one, there is no plot, which can be a positive in found footage so long as it has drama, tension, pacing, and so on. But this movie doesn't have any of those things. It does help it feel more real, but by itself that isn't enough to make it interesting. And I'm sorry to say, but even if I felt sorry for him, Jed is a very boring character. I didn't really care what happened to him, I just wanted it to be worth the wait. Which brings me to the ending. I will say it's more interesting than what tends to happen to the camera holder in found footage, but that doesn't make it good. The biggest issue up until the end is the movie is very grounded, with no CGI and what pro and what post-production there is seems very rudimentary. And even though it's all very restrained, it's also obvious it's computer trickery. The biggest beef I have is a couple of glowing eyes suddenly appearing in the darkness, and when they do, they pass over a tree branch, showing they are very clearly not connected to anything. That sounds like a nitpick, but when the entire film is this realistic until the end, it does stick out like a sore thumb. 
Finally, I think Owen Mulligan got a bit confused about whether he was pretending this is all real or not. The film itself seems real enough to pull that off, but when it's over there is a credit sequence listing the actors over an animated background, so clearly they weren't trying to convince you it was real. But then, after the credits, it reads there is more to the story, and it encourages the audience to look into it, followed by a dedication. In loving memory, Jasper and Owen P. Mulligan. This movie came out in 2019, but according to IMDb, Mulligan was active as late as 2020, and the only Owen P. Mulligan I could find to have passed away did so in 2016. So I have no idea what that was about. But speaking of IMDb, Incident at Montauk holds a rating of 2.6. I mean, it's not the best movie I've ever seen, but it's not that bad. Mulligan did a good job portraying Jed as a depressed, lonely man who picked up a camera and ran with it, and it held together as a documentation of reality until the end. Its only real crime is not being very entertaining, which is... actually a pretty big deal since it's meant as entertainment, but I still have to admit all of those other things that I talked about as well. I sentence Incident at Montauk to a 5 on a scale of 11.